how is the lending market viewing self-storage right now as compared to other asset classes at kind of a you know, big high level in terms of perhaps its attractiveness as an mm -hmm. operating business? Uh, I would say, I mean, the last decade as we've had this run-up, it's become more of an institutionalized asset. So that to say more investors are getting in, more lenders are getting in. You know, Wall Street, the last several years, has been starting to get in via CMBS loans. Sure. And so, you know, we just did, I think, the middle of last year, about a $34, $35 million refinance for a client via CMBS execution. And the lenders were, were fighting, you know, tooth and nail to win that loan. Right. Because now they've realized, oh, my gosh, this asset type is so safe. It's... You know, I think Warren Buffett or somebody said it should trade on par with multifamily because of how sticky it is. Okay. And, you know, we've seen cap rates get, get into the fives and sure. the sixes the last couple of years. And lenders are reacting to it with that level of safety and security. I mean, the, the underwriting is not as tight as multifamily, but it's approaching that. And so more people have been getting in and lending on it and been happy to. They, they've really wanted to round out their, their allocations. The self-storage conference here in Fort Worth a few weeks ago, you know, there were a bunch of institutional operators who had a you know, large exposure in Texas saying, okay, even with what little slowdown we've had in the market at large, our occupancies have dropped from either 95 to 93%, another gentleman said 93 to 91, whereas historically, you know, whether it's an underwriting standard or an appraisal standard, we always thought like 80 to 85% sure. was stabilized. Mm -hmm. When they're when they're slowing down, they're still well in excess of that, and they're they're saying we're undersupplied relative to the amount of housing that we still have coming online, at least here in Texas. So you know, it seems like it's a fairly safe bet at this point in the market, but also the evolution of the product, like you were saying, now we have climate controlled storage, so that people can further preserve their items or their stuff, you know, and they're they're willing to pay more for that.